What's good, my G's? It's your boy Snow, ignorant gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Of course, if you don't already know, G stands for gamers. Shout out to everybody returning. And if you're new here, go ahead and just give us a subscribe. In about 10 videos or so, you will hear this message and then you can um, subscribe. You know, we do a variety of content here and I say we because there's a few of us. My name is Snow, the PlayStation gamer here, but I'm more of a consumer first. So don't think I play any real fan favorism. I got a preference, but there's no 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 fanboyism here. Except for the Microsoft horror, his name is Ramon. There's also Nigel and Nep and a few others you'll see. Just, just subscribe for 10 videos. Everyone else, welcome back. So this is... The next AMA video. If you don't know how AMA videos go, you ask a question below and we will answer it in another video and we'll we'll give you some kind of notification that the video is done. So let's jump into it. This question comes from Reppin Millions. Shout out to Reppin Millions. His question goes Do you think Nintendo should resort to using a subscription membership service for their upcoming console? In what ways do you think they could implement this membership services? To stand out from the others meaning online play market sales etc etc and I'm glad you asked that question thank you for it but before I answer the question I want to direct you over to our Facebook question and just there's a link in the description below but just go over there answer the question and we are compiling a video based off these questions so check that out and uh, yeah stay tuned for that in the future now next Nintendo console subscription service so I feel some kind of way I am a consumer first and I want to say off the back no they should not do this and there's a several reasons why it's beneficial for them to not do this but it also depends on what market they're going for I've said this time and time and time again whenever we do talk about Nintendo Nintendo is like the hospital and it's like hospital, child care, and funeral. No matter what, those three businesses, industry-wise, will never go out of business. People will always be dying. People will always be born. And when people are born, if their parents are gamers, or if their parents need a video game babysitter, or if they're just good parents and want to give their kids something entertaining, the chances of them giving their kid a Nintendo is super duper high. And it actually starts with the Nintendo DS. So the next console already has a built-in fan base regardless as people are aging out I've said in a video in my um, meet the gamers video I love Nintendo I've outgrown Nintendo because Nintendo hasn't grown with me and the Wii the Wii U are prime examples of that I will get a few games in there however for me and my taste I've outgrown them I'm enjoying the shit out of my Wii U by the way so considering that this game and if you look on their website everything is towards parents parents meaning they are the ones who are making the financial decisions about what's going on with that console all their setups are put up for their child's protection the one thing that I really do hate about the Wii U is the, this is the same thing that I love about the Wii U meaning for kids there is no real online interaction kid is going to have to send messages do some drawings or whatever and some emotes but they can't really talk to another kid or players can't talk to another players because this kid isn't limited to just child friendly it's super child friendly but there are some adults and there's some mid-teens who have some games over there that they like to play and um you know for those who are playing smash and for those who are playing splatoon which is a very excellent game for those that are playing maybe monster hunter uh mario kart you know it sucks that those four games that i want to talk about have no verbal communication audio verbal communication now with that said if they were to charge a subscription service in my opinion they need to kind of finger the audio section in everything that you can do now with the Wii U Nintendo Network ID and all that stuff can be free everything that people are enjoying right now should be free to step up the notch they should definitely add audio for a paid subscription service now 
if the pace of subscription service isn't big enough to go along, I do know of a few other things, one of which that PlayStation has only done on the PS3 and they do not do on the PS4, which is the PlayStation Trials, where you download the whole entire game and you get a 60 minute version of the game to play the game. And when the game is done, your trial is done, you can buy it and the game was already downloaded and all your progress and trophies earned will stay with the purchase. That's dope. The only other thing which I already know they've killed but would have been nice if they could bring this back out maybe digitally, PDF form or whatever is that if you're part of the service you get access to either the website or on their on their actual tablet device if they're going to have a tablet device in the future for the Wii U uh, I mean for the next Wii console is um, a digital version of the Nintendo Power that provides some sort of discount some sort of uh, services uh, some sort of something extra of value exclusive art whatever the case may be some or all of that in terms of the anything else that they can do I mean yeah again discounts discounts will help the plus trials will help um, I'm not sure if there's anything outside of that that can be done. I mean, Nintendo's doing an excellent job of what they already do, and for them to catch up is outside of this subscription service. You get what I'm saying? They don't really need the subscription service. In fact, I will still almost avoid it and avoid giving discounts because, you know, these guys are like, um, how do I want to call it? It's like the Blackberry phones. Blackberry phones back in the days before it was like closed out people paid for the same stuff that we were getting for free on Apple and, and Android and Android was probably the second highest people where people were the rate the percentage rate of users were buying stuff and Android was the lowest because us Androids are we're savages we're fucking savages we don't believe in paying for shit but um you know with that said they don't really have to play ball with no one else I mean if you don't think Nintendo is successful, you need to look hard at the numbers. Um, so their subscription service can can hurt, but they don't really need to do it. And for them to stand out, they don't really need to do much in order to do that. If anything, it's just literally playing ball. That's all they got to do is just play ball. Now, if the membership does give discounts, that would probably include more of the non-users to want to get in and then they will also get the, the benefits of the online features of talking and whatnot and um you know who in this day and age it's kind of hard to take as as a social gamer it's kind of hard to uh, well you can't say that because text is still social but people want to have parties and they want to talk to their friends in fact add the party chat in there too let's just throw that in there so anyway as usual ask your questions below and we will answer it in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, Ignorant Gamers, your boys know, and I'm out. Peace.